The history of aviation has been characterized by a relentless pursuit of greater speeds, with aviation enthusiasts and engineers continually pushing the boundaries of what is possible. At the forefront of this pursuit is the ambitious goal of achieving hypersonic speeds, which entail flying more than five times faster than the speed of sound. The quest for faster flight has always been central to the development of airplanes, driving innovation and technology advancements in the industry. In recent years, a company named Hermaeus has gained significant attention for its groundbreaking approach to aviation. Hermaeus is on a mission to leverage innovative ideas and cutting-edge technology to bring us closer to the realization of hypersonic flight. Their vision extends beyond merely breaking speed records. It encompasses a fundamental redefinition of how we travel through the skies. This company's dedication to achieving hypersonic speeds represents a significant leap forward in the aviation industry. Hermius Pursuit of hypersonic flight is poised to revolutionize air travel as we know it. By pushing the boundaries of what's achievable in aviation, they are actively working to transform the way we move from one place to another. The Origins of Hypersonic Flight The concept of hypersonic flight has a surprisingly ancient origin, tracing back to the mid-12th century, when aviation engineers like Robert Goddard and Konstantin Sayov began exploring the possibilities of rocketry. These early visionaries were pioneers of their time, delving into the theoretical foundations of both hypersonic flight and space exploration. They recognized the intricate connection between the principles that govern an object's escape from Earth's gravitational pull and the requirements for achieving hypersonic speeds. As the 20th century dawned, these theoretical foundations paved the way for a new era in aerospace. Visionary scientists and engineers continued to advance the field of rocketry, which became the cornerstone of future hypersonic endeavors. It soon became apparent that traditional aircraft designs could not propel vehicles to hypersonic speeds. Rocketry, with its entirely different propulsion systems, emerged as the path to reach and surpass hypersonic velocities. This transition from conventional aviation to rocketry marked a crucial juncture in the pursuit of hypersonic flight. One of the defining features of this transition was the recognition that rockets no longer depended on the Earth's atmosphere for propulsion. Instead, they carried their own oxidizers, enabling them to operate efficiently in the vacuum of space. This shift was paramount in achieving not only hypersonic, but also escape velocities, which are necessary for reaching and navigating space beyond Earth's gravitational influence. The journey from aviation to rocketry symbolizes the relentless human pursuit of speed and exploration, setting the stage for future innovations in hypersonic flight and space travel. Breaking the Sound Barrier Hypersonic flight research has witnessed a series of significant experiments and milestones that have greatly influenced rocket technology development. One of the pivotal achievements in the early days of supersonic and hypersonic flight research was the Bell X-2 aircraft. The Bell X-2 played a vital role in pushing the boundaries of aviation by becoming the first aircraft to exceed Mach 3. It featured a sleek and slender design optimized for high speeds and altitudes while maintaining stability and control. K-design elements included a long, slender fuselage to minimize aerodynamic drag, swept back wings for stability at hypersonic speeds, and a powerful XLR-25 rocket engine that burned a mixture of liquid oxygen and alcohol for thrust. The X-2's mission revolved around its rocket engine, and it was carried aloft by a B-50 Super Fortress bomber to its launch altitude, where the XLR-25 rocket engine was ignited. 
This propelled the X-2 forward at extraordinary speeds, breaking the sound barrier and achieving altitudes approaching 126,000 feet, setting records for both speed and altitude. The X-2 wasn't just about speed. It was also equipped with a range of instruments and sensors to collect data on aerodynamic forces, temperatures, pressures, and other factors. This information was essential for gaining insights into the challenges of high-speed, high-altitude flight and for advancing aerospace technology. Another significant breakthrough in high-speed and high-altitude flight came with the X-15, a groundbreaking experimental aircraft that played a pivotal role in advancing aerospace technology. One of its standout features was its powerful XLR-99 rocket engine, which burned liquid oxygen and anhydrous ammonia, providing the thrust needed for high-speed flight. The rocket engine expelled exhaust gases at high velocities, generating the reactive force necessary to propel the aircraft forward. The X-15's design also prioritized the safety of its pilots, with a pressurized cockpit providing a controlled environment and an ejection seat for emergencies. This design allowed the X-15 to achieve remarkable speeds, exceeding Mach 6.7 and reaching velocities of approximately 4,120 miles per hour. These speeds pushed the X-15 into the realm of hypersonic flight, where it encountered challenges related to aerodynamic heating and control. Nevertheless, the X-15 demonstrated exceptional capabilities and became one of the first aircraft to venture into hypersonic flight with great success. In addition to its speed achievements, the X-15 reached altitudes approaching 126,000 feet, marking a significant milestone in high-altitude flight. The X-15's performance records significantly contributed to our understanding of the challenges and possibilities of aerospace technology, with the aid of its various instruments and sensors collecting crucial data for advancing our understanding of high-speed flight and aerospace engineering. From X-15 to SR-71 the pioneering research conducted with the X-15 had a profound impact on the design and engineering principles behind the SR-71 Blackbird, one of the most iconic aircraft in aviation history. Insights gained from the X-15's performance and data collection played a pivotal role in developing the SR-71. This remarkable aircraft was powered by two Pratt & Whitney J-58 turbojet engines equipped with afterburners, which provided the immense thrust necessary for supersonic and hypersonic flight. The SR-71 could cruise at speeds exceeding Mach 3 and reach altitudes of over 85,000 feet, allowing it to outpace and outmaneuver virtually any threat. The primary mission of the SR-71 was reconnaissance. It was equipped with advanced cameras and sensors that could capture high-resolution images and gather data over vast areas, making it an invaluable tool for intelligence gathering. Its incredible speed enabled it to cover expansive territories in minimal time. While not a modern stealth aircraft, the SR-71 incorporated certain design features that reduced its radar cross-section, making it more challenging for enemy radar systems to detect and track. This unique combination of capabilities allowed the SR-71 to undertake a multitude of extraordinary missions during its covert operational history. The SR-71's missions were shrouded in secrecy, lending an aura of mystique and intrigue to its endeavors. During the Vietnam War, it conducted missions over hostile territories, including North Vietnam, providing invaluable intelligence to U.S. military planners. Throughout the Cold War, it frequently patrolled the borders of the Iron Curtain, closely monitoring potential threats and military movements in the Eastern Bloc. The SR-71 played a pivotal role in gathering strategic intelligence, especially in tracking the movement of Soviet nuclear missiles which proved crucial in understanding the nuclear capabilities and intentions of the Soviet Union. 
The SR-71's unmatched speed and altitude capabilities allowed it to respond swiftly to emerging crises, facilitating effective monitoring of global events and potential conflicts. However, the extreme speeds and temperatures encountered by the SR-71 posed significant engineering challenges, requiring special heat-resistant materials and complex, labor-intensive maintenance. These factors ultimately led to its retirement in 1998. Hypersonic Unmanned Aircraft Recent years have witnessed significant transformations in the global landscape of hypersonic flight. Countries worldwide, including the United States, Russia, and China, have been actively engaged in the development of hypersonic unmanned aircraft. One notable example is the X-43A, which was unveiled in 2004. This unmanned, scramjet-powered aircraft achieved a remarkable milestone by reaching a speed of Mach 9.6, equivalent to an astonishing 6,599 miles per hour. This achievement shattered previous speed records and underscored the unwavering pursuit of high-speed flight. The success of the X-43A can be attributed to its innovative use of scramjet technology. Scramjets are air-breathing engines designed specifically for high-speed flight within Earth's atmosphere. They operate by compressing incoming air at supersonic speeds and mixing it with fuel for combustion, thereby generating thrust. While conceptually elegant, the development of scramjet engines has posed a significant challenge for aerospace engineers over the years. The X-43A's triumph demonstrated the feasibility and potential of hypersonic flight through the effective deployment of scramjet engines. This achievement marked a game-changing moment in aerospace research, showcasing the ability to propel an aircraft at unprecedented velocities within the Earth's atmosphere. The impact of the X-43A's achievement extends far beyond breaking speed records. It has profound implications for scientific exploration and practical applications across various domains, including transportation and military operations. The ability to attain hypersonic speeds within Earth's atmosphere holds the potential to revolutionize aerospace technology and usher in new opportunities for both scientific research and practical use. The X-43A's success is a testament to human ingenuity and the relentless pursuit of pushing the boundaries of what is achievable in the field of high-speed flight. Unlocking the Future of Transportation The realm of hypersonic technology is not confined to the United States military. Private companies are also actively pursuing advancements in this field, with a focus on both commercial and civilian applications. Among these companies, Hermes Corporation stands out, based in Atlanta, Georgia, and founded in 2018. Hermes is dedicated to revolutionizing air travel by developing a range of dual-use aircraft capable of achieving speeds up to Mach 5. In March 2021, Hermes entered into a Space Act agreement with NASA, facilitating collaboration in high-speed aircraft research and development. Later that year, they secured a significant contract with the United States Air Force, ensuring full financial support for their hypersonic jet, the Quarter Horse. In March 2022, Hermes successfully raised $100 million in a Series B funding round, led by Sam Altman. This capital injection is allocated for critical purposes, including the completion of the Quarter Horse aircraft, the initiation of flight service operations, and the accelerated development of Dark Horse, an uncrewed aircraft designed for sustained hypersonic flight. Insights from Dark Horse's development, flight tests, airworthiness evaluations, and operational experiences will significantly inform Hermes's strategic approach to crafting its commercial passenger aircraft. The Hermes Corporation has achieved significant milestones in engine development, 
In 2019, they successfully tested a prototype engine, proving the viability of the engine design for their aircraft. On November 17, 2022, a remarkable achievement was reached as Hermes's Chimera turbo ramjet engine transitioned from turbojet to ramjet mode during a simulated hypersonic flight. This achievement is notable for its speed and efficiency, with the Chimera engine being developed in just 21 months at a budget of $18 million. The Hermes Quarter Horse, with its revolutionary engine design, is poised to transform the aviation landscape. Capable of reaching speeds of up to Mach 5.5, it can fly from New York to London in just 90 minutes, making it an ideal platform for both commercial and research applications. The aircraft's advanced aerodynamic design ensures stability and precise control, even at hypersonic velocities, while its trio of high-performance engines is engineered for specific flight phases, combining jet and rocket propulsion techniques. High-Speed Reconnaissance In the realm of hypersonic aircraft, the United States is actively pursuing the development of the Quarter Horse and another groundbreaking hypersonic aircraft known as the SR-72, often referred to as the successor to the renowned SR-71 Blackbird. The SR-72 is poised to become one of the fastest aircraft ever crafted, with the potential to reach speeds up to Mach 6, equivalent to six times the speed of sound. Its primary mission is high-speed, high-altitude reconnaissance and surveillance, tasked primarily with intelligence gathering, surveillance, and reconnaissance missions. The exceptional speed and altitude capabilities of the SR-72 will facilitate rapid global reach, while its advanced sensors and communication systems will enable real-time data collection and transmission to ground stations. A hallmark feature of the SR-72 is its unique propulsion system, which employs a combination of turbine and scramjet engines. The turbine engine supplies power at lower speeds, while the scramjet engine takes over at higher velocities to propel the aircraft into hypersonic realms. To withstand the extreme temperatures associated with high-speed flight, the SR-72 incorporates advanced materials and coatings. Lockheed Martin, the company leading its development, has dedicated several years to the SR-72's production with the goal of creating a prototype by the mid-2020s. Notable progress has been made, including successful tests of key components like the scramjet engine and high-temperature materials. The next phase involves integrating these components into a full-scale aircraft and conducting flight tests to validate the design. The SR-72 is anticipated to have a range of up to 6,000 nautical miles and carry a diverse array of sensors and payloads, including cameras, radar systems, and electronic warfare equipment. It can operate at altitudes of up to 80,000 feet, a realm beyond the reach of most surface-to-air missiles. Beyond its technological marvel, the SR-72 represents a vital strategic asset for the United States. Its exceptional speed and agility enable swift responses to emerging threats and provide military commanders with critical intelligence and situational awareness. The Rise of Hypersonic Threats Several countries, notably China and Russia, have closely monitored and made significant strides in the development of advanced hypersonic technologies. China's achievements in this domain include the development of the DFZF, an experimental hypersonic glide vehicle. The DFZF has garnered worldwide attention due to its incredible speed and maneuverability. It is launched into space using a ballistic missile and glides back to Earth at hypersonic speeds, making it extremely challenging to intercept using traditional anti-missile systems. Its reported top speed of approximately Mach 10 allows it to cover vast distances rapidly, presenting significant implications for military and strategic purposes. A key characteristic of the DFZF 
is its remarkable maneuverability during its descent phase, making it challenging for adversaries to track and target, enhancing its effectiveness in penetrating enemy defenses. The development of the DFZF has raised concerns in the international community, particularly among nations viewing China's advances in hypersonic technology as potentially destabilizing, given its ability to carry both conventional and nuclear payloads at hypersolic speeds, which could significantly impact global security dynamics. Russia has also made substantial progress in hypersonic technology, exemplified by the development of the Avangard hypersonic glide vehicle. The Avangard is designed to be launched on an intercontinental ballistic missile and is renowned for its exceptional speed and maneuverability. One of its most impressive features is its reported top speed of around Mach 27, allowing it to travel anywhere on the globe within minutes making it extremely challenging to defend against. Like the DFZF, the Avangard is designed to perform evasive maneuvers during its descent phase, making it difficult for anti-missile systems to track and intercept, greatly enhancing its survivability and effectiveness in reaching its target. The development and deployment of the Avangard have sparked concerns among global powers due to its ability to carry nuclear warheads at hypersonic speeds, adding a new dimension to the strategic balance and leading to discussions about the need for arms control agreements that account for these advanced hypersonic systems. With innovative companies like Hermes leading the way, the future of aviation is poised for a remarkable breakthrough. Their advancements in hypersonic technology and aircraft design pave the path to faster, more efficient, and more accessible air travel. These breakthroughs are set to redefine human flight and offer new possibilities in transportation, aerospace research, and global connectivity. As pioneers in the field continue to push the boundaries of what's possible, we can anticipate a transformative era in aviation that will benefit us all offering the potential for faster and more accessible air travel, leading to new opportunities in transportation, aerospace research, and global connectivity.